Zinc deficiency can cause a variety of signs and symptoms. We're going to talk about those signs and symptoms in this lesson, but before we get into those signs and symptoms, let's talk about what zinc is and where we actually get it. So zinc is actually an essential trace element for human health, and it is acquired from our diet. It can be acquired from eating meat and fish and from legumes as well. So these are two major sources of zinc. And the reason we need zinc is because it is required for a variety of different processes. Some of these include nutrient metabolism, DNA synthesis, immune functioning, reproductive functioning, and fetal development. These are going to relate to some of the signs and symptoms we're going to talk about later on in this lesson. So when zinc is acquired in our diet, when it is consumed, it gets absorbed in the gastrointestinal system in the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, and more specifically in the distal duodenum, so in this area here, and in the proximal jejunum, which is the second part of the small intestine. So in this area right about here is where zinc is absorbed. So this is how we can actually get zinc in our body, but we can actually lose zinc from the gastrointestinal system as well through feces, and we can also lose it from our urine, from the renal system, urologic system. So those are the two ways we can lose zinc as well. So that leads us into the main causes of zinc deficiency, which include low intake. So if you don't eat enough, you don't get enough from your diet, you can have a zinc deficiency. You can also have a zinc deficiency from reduced absorption of zinc. So if there's some issue with the gastrointestinal system, so if you have a condition like inflammatory bowel disease, this may cause issues with zinc absorption. You can also lose zinc from increased utilization. So you might be getting enough in your diet, you might be absorbing enough, but you're using so much that it's causing a deficiency. We can see this in cases of pregnancy. And then there may be increased losses. So if there is increased or excessive diarrhea or excessive urine losses, you can also cause a zinc deficiency as well. That leads us into the signs and symptoms of a zinc deficiency. Now we're going to break it down into the systems that are affected by zinc. So the first one is going to be developmental. We talked about it being important in fetal development. This can ultimately lead to short stature. So a short stature is due to reduced growth. So this is going to be important if there's a zinc deficiency early on in life because zinc is important in fetal growth and development and growth in general early on in life. So again, short stature is going to be a finding of a zinc deficiency if there is a zinc deficiency early on in life. The next bodily system that can be affected by a zinc deficiency is the gastrointestinal system. So a zinc deficiency can actually lead to diarrhea. Now this can be due to the fact that zinc deficiency may increase the risk and morbidity from gastrointestinal infections, but there is an association with a zinc deficiency and diarrhea. And then zinc deficiency can also lead to a loss of appetite. Because zinc may act as an appetite stimulant, so zinc seems to play a role in regulating the appetite, and it acts as an important cofactor in many nutrient metabolism enzymes. We talked about it being important in nutrient metabolism. So again, this may be the reason why we see a loss of appetite in some individuals. Zinc deficiency can also lead to a loss of taste. So there can be a decreased sense of taste in patients with zinc deficiency, especially those with long-term zinc deficiency. And it's Important to note that older individuals are at a higher risk of this occurring. And it may be due to reduced activity of a zinc associated enzyme that is responsible or is associated with taste. So this can be important to recognize as well. And along with a loss of taste, we can see a loss of smell with a zinc deficiency. So reduced or decreased sense of smell can occur. And again, this is also going to be related to a reduced activity of a zinc associated enzyme. And now another important finding with regards to a zinc deficiency is tinnitus or tinnitus. So a ringing of the ears, this is what tinnitus or tinnitus is, and this can actually be a sign of zinc deficiency. So zinc deficiency is actually a potential cause of subjective tinnitus. So if you want more information on tinnitus, please check my full lesson on that topic. But it's important again to note that tinnitus can be a sign of a zinc deficiency. Now we talked about zinc being important in immune system functioning. So if there is a zinc deficiency, we can see problems with the immune system. 
So there can be an increased risk of various types of infections. And the types of infections that a patient with zinc deficiency is going to be more at risk for include respiratory infections, gastrointestinal infections, and skin infections. In particular, respiratory infections are going to be more problematic for patients who have a zinc deficiency. And we did mention that gastrointestinal infections can be something that can cause diarrhea, which is also another associated finding with zinc deficiency. We can also see reduced wound healing in patients who have a zinc deficiency. So reduced wound healing, more specifically prolonged or delayed wound healing is going to be found. So if there is a wound or if something else requires healing, it's going to take longer than usual. And both of these issues, both relating to the immune system, have to do with a lot of enzymes that are utilized by the immune system. So a lot of enzymes that are utilized by the immune system require zinc. If there's not enough zinc, we're going to have issues with enzymatic functioning. So this is the reason why we can see these findings in zinc deficiency. And then there can be findings in the integumentary system as well. So integumentary system is going to include the hair and the nails and the skin. So more specifically, we're going to find hair loss being something we can see with zinc deficiency. So it's going to be more diffuse. It's not going to have a particular pattern. It's not going to be a male pattern baldness. It's going to be diffuse hair loss. So the hair is going to become thinner. And not only does the zinc deficiency lead to a diffuse hair loss or a diffuse alopecia, it can also lead to a reduction of strength of the remaining hair. The remaining hair can become more brittle. So the hair can become thinned or thin out and the remaining hair itself can become more brittle. And the hair loss itself can worsen with the severity of zinc deficiency. And then there can also be skin issues. We mentioned that there can be delayed wound healing, but there can be also other skin issues as well. So very skin issues can occur with zinc deficiency. And these skin issues can actually occur over the course of several days of a zinc deficiency. And these include the appearance of acne or eczema, xerosis, and angular chelitis. Angular chelitis is what is noted in this image here, where there is cracking of the corners of the lips. This can be something that can be noted in zinc deficiency and in iron deficiency as well. And then there can also be some psychiatric findings in a zinc deficiency. These can include anxiety. So a patient is more prone to having symptoms of anxiety if they have a zinc deficiency. This is not going to be a true case or a true psychiatric case of anxiety. So it's not going to be a generalized anxiety disorder because it is due to a medical condition. It is due to zinc deficiency. And the reason this occurs is because zinc interacts with the serotonergic system. There is some interplay. There is some regulation of the serotonergic system with zinc. So zinc has important roles and interacts with the serotonergic system. And we can also see depression as well. So there is again, increased risk of symptoms of depression. So even if patients may have signs and symptoms of major depressive disorder, it is not a true case of major depressive disorder because it is due to an underlying medical cause. And again, it's also due to the fact that zinc interacts with the serotonergic system. So serotonin is important in both anxiety and depression symptoms. And zinc deficiency can also cause other cognitive disturbances as well. These can include reduced attention span and difficulty concentrating as well. There can also be some reproductive issues in zinc deficiency. So there can be reduced fertility, particularly reduced fertility in males because zinc is required for spermatogenesis, the production of sperm. So this can lead to reduced sperm counts known as oligospermia. And we can also see hypogonadism occurring with zinc deficiency. So decreased gonadal functioning. This is going to be more common in males again. And this may lead to sexual dysfunction and impotence. And then we can also see night blindness occurring in the zinc deficiency. So reduced visual ability in the dark or at night. So this can occur with a zinc deficiency. And this may be related to zinc related changes in vitamin A levels. So vitamin A is required for night vision. So if there are issues with vitamin A levels, which oftentimes occur alongside a zinc deficiency. So if there's a zinc deficiency, there can oftentimes be a vitamin A deficiency. We can see night blindness occurring. And then photophobia can also occur with a zinc deficiency. So photophobia is a sensitivity to light and it may be related to abnormal light adaptation. So if you wanna learn more about zinc deficiency, please check out my full lesson on that topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.